So the first thing you and I have to do, if we're going to be answering this call today, is to deny ourselves. So what does that mean, deny yourself? Here's, what I, here's kind of my definition for deny yourself. It's saying no to the things the world says yes to. That's denying yourself. Others may, but I may not. It's, it's looking at the landscape of our world around us, our current context, and saying, I'm going to say no to the things that the world says yes to so that I can be a part of God's kingdom activity to take the gospel to my neighbors and the nation. And listen, I was driving, listen, this is, a, this is a bougie place, okay? I mean, where y'all live, I was driving, I was driving down the, the bay here, and I'm like, man, this is not my world, okay? I'm like driving down here, I'm like, I'm like driving up here, and I'm like, man, this place, this is crazy. I've been here once before, but I'm like, this is pretty bougie, okay? And so, your staff's not bougie, but, um, but your, your, your context is, Okay? And so, so here's, here's what I want you to recognize today. You and I, if we're not careful, we can get numb in our comfort to the things around us, the lostness and the desperation and the hurt and the need. And so I want to challenge you to deny yourself, say no to the things the world says yes to. And what does the world say yes to? The world says yes to this relentless and endless pursuit of pleasure and treasure. And God's calling you and me today to see all that and say no to the things the world says yes to. I told you this was going to be hard this morning. Okay, This is a hard teaching because deep down in our hearts, we love comfort. We love our trinkets. We love the treasure and pleasure of this world, but this world is not our home. It's another kingdom, and we're to be building the kingdom. So denying yourself takes this heart to say no to the things the world says yes to. And so denying yourself is declaring then every single day that your yes is on the table no matter what the question is from God. And so the idea is that moment by moment we walk with Christ as Christ followers taking up this posture of denying ourselves and we're saying yes to the Lord every single day. Is your life today, is your life interruptible? I know you have dreams. I know you have plans. I know the pressure of the world to pursue the trinkets and the treasure of the and pleasure of the world. But let me ask you a question today. Are you willing to say to the Lord, my yes is on the table, and I, I am saying today, Lord, I'm declaring today that my life is interruptible. Your yes is on the table. Um, I just did uh, a, a, a little vacation uh, in Destin, okay, on the way down here. We drove from Arkansas. I preached in Texas, and then it's not really like the directest path, right, from Arkansas to Florida. But I preached in Texas, and then we went to Destin, which is our favorite place to hang out. Um, and I binged watched my sons. Uh, again, they're old. They're now like adults. And uh, they said, Dad, you have you seen uh, Masters of the Air? I'm like, no, I haven't seen it. It must have come out while I was head down in, in England, right? Or I don't know when it came out. But anyway, and, and um, so I binged watch Masters of the Air. It's, it's really gruesome, okay? Um, but it's this picture of guys who every single day got in a plane, a B-17, and flew over uh, Germany, and like 10 fortresses every time they flew would get blown out of the sky. And these guys would get in a plane knowing that in all likelihood, it could be their last activity on earth. And the commander would say, here we go, this is the assignment. And those guys would just go. Holy cow. That's what I'm talking about. Is your yes on the table? 
What is God saying to you today? No matter, no matter what it is, is your yes, is your posture under your commanding officer, yes, I was born at MacDill Air Force Base, so I got a little Air Force in me, okay? And just this idea that I'm actually home. This is weird, actually. Um, but this idea that the commander says, yes, this is, what, this is the call, this is what we're doing. And the, and the guys, the troops, the, the, the folks that they're going to go lay their life on the line, their response is, my yes is on the table. And so if that's your posture today, buckle up because your life's about to change, right? Because he's calling us into denying ourselves and taking up his cross daily and following him.